It caught some people by surprise, and others, it just threw them for a loop. Sage still booted from ESPN's NBA coverage. See ya! Why did ESPN replace Sage Steele with Michelle Beadle on NBA Countdown a week before the start of the playoffs? Inquiring minds want to know. That's the question viewers are asking after the network made a curious late season shuffle removing Steele, host of NBA's pregame and halftime shows on ESPN's and ABC since 2013 from the anchor chair. Why would they do that? She's so attractive. She speaks so well. Why would they do it? And she knows sports. Earlier this season, B to be placed still as the anchor of ESPN's weekday coverage of NBA games, was still remaining the host for Saturday primetime and Sunday afternoon games. The gig is now Beatles full time. Like a great point guard, she makes everyone around her better, and we're looking forward to this next chapter in Michelle's career and she leads us forward on NBA Countdown, said ESPN executive Kevin Wilds. And he did not mention Steele. No Remington Steele and no Sage Steele were mentioned in that announcement. While the move could be totally about showcasing Beto, a rising ESPN star, once lost on NBC, it's not difficult to connect the dots and wonder if Steele was booted because of the controversy she stirred in the past on social media. In January, Steele was blasted on Instagram for blaming Trump travel ban protesters for causing her to miss a flight. <laughs> okay. And she also took heat in November for criticizing Tampa Bay Buccaneers receiver Mike Evans on Twitter for sitting down during the national anthem to, prote to protest Trump's election. All right. And she's made a lot of other comments and she totally just runs around talking about, I'm mixed. I ain't black. I'm mixed. I ain't black. She does that a lot. Okay. So that's the news. Now here's what your brother Tim Black thinks about it. Oh. oh. The market is spoken. The market speaks. I was watching people online cheer about this. And when people cheer that you lose your job and you're in the public eye, yeah. Not a good look. You can't say the people are wrong or the people are got it wrong or the people are hypocritical or whatever, right? The media decides or the people decide if they want you in the media game or if they want to watch you. Anybody who watches my videos makes a decision. Do they want to watch this or do they not? Okay? You make fans and you make enemies. And let's not be crazy and try to forget that when you make comments about controversial issues, you're going to get love and you're going to get hate. You always get more hate than love because hate's louder. One of the things that Sage did a lot, which I take a lot of offense to, and I don't like using that offense word because it makes me sound like some people that get on my nerves a lot. But let's just say what ticked me off about her was I knew that she was using wedge issues to ingratiate herself to certain people. Why else would you need to talk about your personal opinion so feverishly on Twitter about things that you know are volatile? You don't think there are ESPN hosts who are white who felt like, I don't know, what the hell's going on with the travel thing? Why are these people protesting? You're not the only one who missed their flight, Miss Steele. But since you're black and black people complained about you complaining, now you got a problem and you want to blame all black people. You know what? They would have blamed white people too. So the same Sage Steele who says that black people are hypocritical because we're so racist against other black people for having a different opinion, uh, she needs to remember that if she was white, she'd have got backlash for it too. And why are you now saying that we should not criticize you because you are black is actually, if in your, at least using your own analogies, a form of racism. Because people like her and Breitbart who published a crap article that I did not read they're making it seem like, well, black people are horrible people because they won't support Sage Steele. Do you know how many black people black people don't support? I mean, I get some support, but what I'm saying, <laughs> not talking about me. What I'm saying is, if not supporting someone who just happens to look like you means that you need to indict an entire group of people, that means to me that you're a little racist. 
Black people should be able to eject, to accept and reject anyone for any reason. And when you tick them off and when you kick dirt on people that they respect, then you're going to catch the brunt of it. And let's make it clear. Black people didn't fire you. Black people didn't take your job. Michelle Beadle did. And ESPN did. And besides, you're still employees. You're just not using, you're just not going to be in this slot. You got a contract. Did they end the contract? No. So, shut up, grow some boobies, <laughs> and pick yourself up by your bootstraps like you tell all the other blacks when you're talking with your white friends. And go independent like I did. I'm sitting around crying all the time. I make a comment about CNN and MSNBC, but I'm happy being independent. You can be independent too. You don't need a white company like ESPN to do it.